Welcome to Electron Online. In order to understand solubility a little bit better, I want to talk about a couple more things regarding solubility. First of all, the definition. What, is, what does that really mean? Because there's no such thing as mixing two things together like a solute and a solvent and have one completely dissolved or mix two together and have one not at all dissolved. There's a lot of in-betweens. And so in order to understand that, we can think about solubility as the maximum amount of solute that dissolves in a given Hmm, that should say given with an N, given quantity of solvent at a particular temperature. For example, at 20 degrees centigrade, potassium chloride will dissolve in water, in 100 milliliters of water, uh, to the extent of that it will dissolve 34.7 grams in 100 milliliters of water. And likewise, for uh, ammonia chloride, 37 grams, or ammonium chloride should say, 37 grams of ammonium chloride will dissolve in 100 milliliters of, of water at 20 degrees centigrade. We will learn later that at different temperatures the amount will be different, but this is a fair quantity. These will dissolve to a great extent, and a lot of solute is dissolved in just a small amount of 100 milliliters of water. So we can say that those two are soluble. But they can, other, uh, sol other solutes that are far less soluble than that can still be considered soluble. The definition says that as long as at least one gram per 100 milliliters of, of uh, solvent dissolves, then you can consider it soluble. So some elements or some compounds or some solutes will not dissolve to a great extent, but sufficient, so we can say that they're soluble. Then there's a limit that if it's less than one gram per 100 milliliters, and, but yet still more than 0.1 grams uh, per 100 milliliters, and I put, should put a little G there because we mean grams, so if the amount that gets dissolved in 100 milliliters of water falls between 0.1 and 1 gram, we can still say that it's soluble, but not completely. We call that slightly soluble. So there's just a small amount that gets dissolved. And finally, if it's less than 0.1 grams per 100 milliliters, we then claim that it's insoluble. Even if very small amounts, could be less than that, gets dissolved, there's still a little bit of action, dissolving action taking place, and a few of the molecules will dissolve in the solvent, but it's so little that we just consider it insoluble. So again, there's some gray areas there, but in general, by these rules, we can say insoluble when it's less than this, soluble when it's more than this, and it falls in between, we call it slightly soluble. But it's also all, always about the extent of it. So some some solutes will dissolve very well, and a lot of quantity will get dissolved in just 100 milliliters of water, and others will be far less. And at some point, we can then say they're not soluble. So these are the rules that we tend to follow when we talk about solubility.